Howdy y'all, today we'll be demonstrating the reverse Nordic. This is an exercise that has a slew of benefits for the hip flexors and the quads of our legs. With this exercise, we're going to demonstrate three different types. The assisted reverse Nordic, the regular reverse Nordic, and an advanced version of the reverse Nordic. Now, prior to starting any of these exercises, it's very important to know that if you have a meniscus and or patella injury or current tear, um, please refrain from doing this exercise. It can make those worse. Also keeping in mind, if you have any hip impingement issues, specifically with the hip flexors, um, please refrain from this as well and wait to a point of um, you getting cleared before doing this exercise. Now to start with, we have... Ariana demonstrating the assisted reverse Nordic. Now, as you see, she's up on her toes and she's got a band around her waist. This band is going to help pull her back up and is going to assist with her using the muscle she has to do the movement. Now, from here, we're on to our demonstrator, Rebecca. She is showing the standard reverse Nordic. It's the exact same positioning. And as you notice, she keeps a very neutral spine as she leans back and comes back forward. Now, post this, we have the advanced version of the reverse Nordic. So, as you see with Rebecca, her toes are laid flat instead of being up on her toes. This takes away a lot of... Um, the muscle we use from our feet to come back up and she's got a weight she's cradling at the top part of her chest this is a very advanced technique and um, is very very beneficial for strength and uh, muscle gains